I landed in Red Rock country by way of flying into Vegas from Jacksonville, Florida. Driving through the desert and Arizona mountains into paradise. My first trip out was a solo quest where I connected with the land, people, and culture of this magical place. Not to mention an introduction to Daphne. We start out on a hike to catch the sunrise from Miyamo Resort in Boynton Canyon. We got the morning hike here at Miyamo in Boynton Canyon. Trying to make that 5.30 sunrise. Heading on up in between those two structures there. Kuchina Woman and the Warrior Rock. It's just beautiful out here. Here we are at D Spot, Boynton Canyon. That pre rolled. About 2 a.m., just got dropped off by a Q. And uh, a life is good. Chilling on the red rock. Thirty minutes south was eight week old baby Daff. A winter meter breeder, one of my heroes, Christine Scattergood, and of course Daphne. There was one other pup in the litter who Christine thought could be a good fit for me. Once I met Daff, it was all over. She was the runt of the litter, but also smartest and spunkiest. I watched her climb up over the baby gate to taunt the big dogs as her siblings looked on. She was the one. When I returned four weeks later to bring her home, it was pure bliss. Often a puppy's first night away from their siblings can be a stressful, loud experience, but not us. Daph was cooler than the other side of the pillow, and our connection was instant. Just thinking about it sends a chill down my spine. Look at these pictures. I mean, how freaking cute. Day two started bright and early. Hanging out with five of Daft's littermates and taking a course in canine nutrition. Here's a glimpse of all the supplements we ordered to build a super immune system in Daft. Then it was into town to begin our first day of training together. venturing around Sedona, hanging out at the property with all the other dogs, and starting our journey. On my first trip, I met up with an amazing artist, Charles Decker, and decided to get a painting to commemorate the special beginning and fitting location it happened in. This painting turned into the inspiration for the design of Wise Wolves. Sedona is a place like no other I've been to, a spiritual game changer. The nature, town, people are so inviting and unique. The symbolism for what Sedona represents in terms of love and connection to our environment had incredible parallels for my vision for a life with Daphne.
Nine days later, it was time to head home. Daph and I drove back through Vegas, where she spent the night on the Strip, and then took her first flight. So it began. <laughs>